talk to you because part one got cut off from a phone call. So I just got reached out to one of the companies that I applied to last night. They're sending me their information now so that I can uh, apply or do the application and then see by orientation. Um, which will very likely come with a phone call later asking me my availability and everything in between, which they could see from the application, but it's good to tell them firsthand. Firsthand. Anyways, I'm having trouble with this company because, as you know, I ride the bus. I don't have a license, I don't have a car. I ride the bus, and I'm pretty reliable on the bus. I get to and from where I need to go, and I'm there on time, rarely. But I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm there within a reasonable time. There's days I'm early, there's days I'm late. But I always make up the time. Always. Um, and that's just how that's gone for the last year. I'm going to consider the 10th my one year anniversary with the company that I've been with for a year now. I'm going to consider that an anniversary. That I've had a job for a year. Shows a lot. Anyways, um, with the company that I'm trying to get hired with, they're going back and forth say, saying that I need this, that, and the other when I've already given them that, that, this, that, and the other. And it's like, okay, what do you have so that I can give you what you need so that I can continue on with the process of getting hired with your company? Let's say it hasn't been a piece of cake. I got to call them today. I'm waiting for other phone calls, which I'll probably get blown up. With, uh, my phone will probably go off constantly today with phone calls from the three other companies that I need to that I, I reached out to because I reached out to four companies last night so I'm expecting a few more phone calls today and I gotta write them all down in my journal that I have for places I've already applied so I don't apply to them again and yeah <laughs> it is our lovey and I's two year anniversary i'm so happy about it we're not we're probably not going to be able to do anything of course but i thought a nice little night together maybe a movie maybe some cuddles you know just sweet little sentimental time with him this morning he walked me to the bus stop as he always does most days <laughs> when i can get him out of bed but most days, he's actually, uh, I've actually left the house and he's ran right behind me and caught up with me just to walk me to the bus stop. So, he's been a real sweetheart and really patient with me because <laughs> I have a hard time getting him up in the morning. But, I'm sure he has the same issues with me in the morning as well. Sorry, I'm getting my phone blowing up with texts. Anyways, I'm going to have a good day. It's our anniversary. It's our two-year anniversary, and I'm going to have a good day. Whether or not that means we go on a night date, that's fine. We go on a night date. Maybe I can convince him to go on a night date. Although, I'm going to get tired around 9 o'clock, so I don't know if that's a good idea. But I'm perfectly fine with... There is a movie we've been wanting to see. We haven't planned this out. I've been working, and we're just happy we're together, and that we want to continue work, this little journey together. I'm so happy. This morning I woke him up. I was like, it's our anniversary. Or he woke me up. Yeah, he woke me up at like 3 in the morning. And he's like, pestering me. <laughs> I was like, happy two year anniversary. Sorry, I'm distracted. There's a squirrel. But it's our two year anniversary. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go. Because I should probably start walking to my client's house now. And Lovey's texting me. And other companies are texting me. And I think we're texting me. So I should probably check that too. But I just thought I'd give y'all kind of a mini part two to that whole frustration with work. So you're welcome. Have a good day.